Hello YouTube and welcome to our 48th Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial the user CEH555 who's been a long time subscriber uh, wanted to know is there any way to put real time into our game so every second clicks every minute it clicks on in the game just like GTA San Andreas does kind of so um, I did some researching yep Fully, fully possible. I sent him the code, he couldn't figure it out, so here I am to do it even better than before. Um, if you're listening to this person, I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, but um, the code I sent you did do it, but only in seconds. So it shows seconds, milliseconds, whatever comes after milliseconds, so it only shows that. But this code I've got now shows you seconds, minutes, hours, days, months, or years. So, it's really, really simple. Depending on how much you want, it's the minimum you can have is three lines of code. That's it. So simple. Right. So, first, I downloaded this font called Digital here. So, I thought it looked cool like an alarm clock. So, I've got that from Daft Font, which I've put into the description below. So, I've put, renamed it In Game Font, which has got something at the beginning of it, which I really don't want. Um, so, there we go. And it's there. So, the font color, I want it greenish. So I'm just going to change it to green. Um, probably not the best idea, but... So I changed the font size up to, say, something like 200. Because then we can get rid of the mess up thing. So we've done that. And now what we're going to do is create a new game object and create a GUI text. Boom. There we go. Look how good that looks. That just looks awesome. Right, so I'm going to resize that using the character size when I can find it. Hmm, where is it? I think it's pixel offset. I swear down it was right there. I had it a minute ago. Okay, so I guess I can't remember how to do that. But I swear down it was there. Oh well. Right, so we'll rename that to uh what we're we gonna call it. Um in game time. Because everything else is called in game time. I swear that font size, that's what it wants. Zero point one. Okay, apparently not. I swear down there was a character size one. Change the material, we'll put the right material on it, because it, if it's displaying a wrong material. Boom, there we go. So apparently I forgot how to change the font size. Hmm, that's probably not good. Try line spacing. Okay, I've actually forgot how to read it. That is so bad. How the hell did I forget that? Okay, so what we're going to do is just change it back down then. Say 10, well, I said 20, so it's big ish. There we go, so it's tiny now. Why, could, why did I have to forget it? Well, it looks like I forgot it. Um, It was definitely something in here what you changed. I think it was 3D text, I don't think you can do it on this one. But yeah, so we're going to move this to the right place using pixel offset. So we'll move it back to about there. Uh, so we'll rename that to 480 and then we'll move it all the way up. Well, sorry for that little delay there, but yeah. So we'll run it and just see where it is so we can see if it's in the right position. Oh, that's far away. Um, Yeah, so what we're going to have to do is move it up even more. So what I'm going to do is actually is drag it out like this. So you can't see this, but because my monitor's bigger, I'll be able to edit it at the size where it needs to be. So I'll put that there. Because then it'll stretch it to my screen. I've also assigned the align script back in, which is much easier. So I'm going to drag this up across. Where should we put it? I think I'll put it directly under the life. Hmm, about there. What's the life one? Hoods. Player health hood. This will take time. You just need to, again, it's positioning and everything. In game time will be that, which is good. And then the up of it will be there we'll put it there but we'll put it in the middle and then what we'll do is we'll move the actual skills down so five two six three oh seven just so you can see that five two six three oh seven so we'll remember that minus five two six three oh seven so now if we were to run that it would show GUI text which is good but now we need the script for it. So we're going to our scripts folder. Uh, this shouldn't take very long with how small it is. And in our hoods folder, because it's another hood, we'll name this in game time. 
we'll assign it to it because we don't actually need to change anything on it uh, in game time boom so let's open it up so to start um, we need to get rid of the function update because we don't need that one what we need is a private variable because we don't want to be editing this in the d inspector and we'll call this the time yeah and this will actually be a date um, Vari variable type which basically means it can get all the hours the years the days and it accesses it from real time so very good so in our function update um, so that's the first line of code I was counting so one we'll just catch it up um, I'm just gonna do minutes for the moment but I'll show you in a minute what you do for everything else minutes equals so we'll call it minutes um, now what you need to do is tell it to get the variable the date so the time dot and then a new co keyword for you is now so it gets the time so the from the date of now and then what part of that do we want to get well we want to get minutes so we're going to type minute with a capital M that's that one does so that's the second line so minutes basically it's co creates a new variable called minutes which accesses the date property so say it goes from years all the way down to tiny second fraction of a second I don't know if one part of a second or something and then it gets the time where it is currently now so 5 10 for me p.m. Um, and then get rid of that time it there and then it gets the part of it which is defined as minutes um, in a minute after we've done that I'll show you everything else so now what we need to do is apply that to our GUI text which if you haven't figured out yet it's really really easy all you do is type in GUI text dot text. Um, that's why yours weren't working as well, the guy who recommended this, because um, I may mixed up the capitals on this again. Sorry. Um, but then we'll put that, and then we want to put um, time. So this is just good customizing now. Time is plus. Now we want to put minutes. That's it. That's all you need to do. So I'll show you that now. So I'll show you time, and you'll see it ticking up in minutes, which probably wasn't actually the best example, because then you can't see it. So I'll put that big, and what I'll do in here is I'll just show you now. It does work. I'll show you in a minute. But so f say you want years, so you'll type var, var no, well yeah, you v years is really simple. I'll just add the seconds one, seconds. So we'll call that seconds. Um, here we'll put um, a random speech mark in plus seconds. So minutes, then it gets a, adds the colon, then it'll put the seconds next to it. And instead of being called minute, you call it second. And say you want the hour, you put hour. And I'll put this. I'll put all these in the description when I do. Um, day for days, months for months. A year for years so it's really really simple like that oh put seconds back um, yeah so I'll put that all in the description if you don't understand it it is all there we have an error I'm guessing it's to do with our GUI text plus minutes plus seconds oh yes it's a second there's no such thing as seconds apparently so it gets the second right now. So when this loads, you should see it second win tick 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 tick. So as you can see, um, just to clarify, I've got a watch here, which when you print next to you can hear it. I'm going to put it against the microphone, so you may hear a bit of loud banging in a minute. If you can't hear it, I'm sorry, but listen. So I don't know if you heard that, but it is actually in time. I've got a watch right next to me. I've tried it. It is in time. Um, so that's real time in game. You want hours and stuff, it's all there. Um, it isn't actually what... That's minutes, isn't it? That's why. Yeah. So we'll put hours in just now just to see if it is actually my time as well. So var hours equals the time dot now dot hour. And after before this here, we'll put plus hours plus and we'll copy that bit and paste it in here ah oh, I probably thought I wanted to get it under 10 minutes as well so let's play it we might be able to get under 10 minutes error huh. I knew that would come 
our capital H. There we go. So quick short simple tutorial for it. So we're catching up to tutorial 50 which is really cool. So as you will see it should say 514, 17. That is correct. So it's in 24 hour. It is perfect. It works as you can see. Um, I'll probably readjust that but not now. So that's really in time game. Thank you to CEH555 C -E for the great suggestion. Probably got me at first but yeah. So thanks for watching and see you next time.